Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does cash bail work? Have you ever wondered what happens when someone is arrested and needs to get out of jail before their trial? The answer often involves something called cash bail. Let's break it down. When someone is arrested, they might have the option to pay cash bail to be released from jail until their trial. This money is essentially a guarantee that the person will show up for their court dates. Here's how it works. If you or someone on your behalf pays the full bail amount in cash, you'll be released from jail. If you appear at all your court hearings, the money will be returned to you, minus any administrative fees, two, three, four. The amount of bail is decided by a judge and can vary greatly depending on the severity of the crime, the person's previous criminal record, whether they are considered a flight risk, and other factors. In some places, judges have a lot of discretion to adjust the bail amount based on the specifics of the case. There are a few ways to post bail. You can pay the full amount in cash, use property as collateral for a property bond, or use a bail bondsman. A bail bondsman pays the full bail amount if you fail to appear in court, but you or a co-signer have to pay them a fee, usually around 10% of the bail amount too. The cash bail system, however, has some significant issues. For instance, it can be very expensive, and many people can't afford it. This means they have to stay in jail even though they haven't been convicted of anything. This can lead to serious consequences like losing jobs, housing, or even custody of children, one, three. In many cases, judges set bail amounts without a formal hearing of evidence, and this can disproportionately affect people of color and those who are poor. Studies have shown that judges are more likely to assign higher bail amounts to black defendants compared to white defendants for similar crimes. Once the case is resolved, the bail money is returned, but it can be applied to any fines or restitution if the person is convicted. If the person fails to appear in court, the bail money is forfeited and additional legal consequences may follow. So, while cash bail is meant to ensure people show up for their trials, it often ends up causing more problems than it solves, especially for those who can't afford it. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.